hello guys gr greetings i want to welcome you again to dying the programmer so in this video we are going to learn how to set up our php but firstly php is an acronym for which is hypertext preprocessor and it is widely used open source scripting language so it's also free to download and use And it's very powerful enough to be at the core of the biggest blogging system on the web. Also, it is very easy enough for a beginner to write your first server-side language. So now I'm going to take you to how you should be able to write your first PHP script. First of all, a PHP file contains HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and the PHP code. And PHP can generate dynamic page content. It can create open, read, write, delete, and close different files on a server. And I'll show you how to install the server for PHP. Also, PHP can be used to control user access. You can also encrypt data and you need to know that with PHP you are not limited to output HTML. You can output images, PDF files and even flash movies. You can also output any text such as XHTML or, or even XML. So now what is needed for you to start, to start using HTML? Like here, I will show you how to get them. Firstly, you need to find a web host with PHP and MySQL support. So this MySQL here, you need to install a web server on your PC. Then you install PHP and MySQL. Next, you for you to be able to set up your own PHP here, we are going to go through that because you need a web server. You need to install PHP. Then you install a database such as MySQL. So now, these are the three requirements. Yeah, for you to be able to install a web server, you see here, you can you can use Zam. Zam is a free and open source web server as you can see here Zam is a free and open source web server sorry about that Developed by Apache Friends, consisting mainly of HTTP server side and the rest. So now you can also get some uses. Zam use Zam for it allows you to build WordPress site offline and so on. So now to download this Zam, you just come here. It takes download. So I'm not going to download it again since. I have it here. This is it. So when you take download Zam, which is a web server, you can choose 64 bit here and so on for Windows. You can also do that if you're using Linux, and you can do the same if you're using an OS. Nextly we will need to install php now to install php you can just go to the php you can go to php.net under php.net when you come to php.net depending on what you are using you are to download a zip you see that other stable versions here, but yeah, 
you want to download for windows so you go now to download for windows then you get to this which is the latest then you download the zip for it then when you download that zip you have this php test pack 8 point this which that's what's needed and lastly after you get php you need to download instead database such as mysql so now for mysql <coughs> that's the database so here yeah, you can install your mysql as you can see here is my mysql that i downloaded windows installer and we are going to go through that to install it so from here you can just get the mysql then you can get to know more about it here you can go to the download take for windows so from here now you can download for 32 bit also you can just choose your operating system then you download so i'm not going to download it again since i already have it on my machine so now we are going to start first by installing our web server so like i said this is it So we're installing our ZAM, okay. Because you have activated this on your system, some functions are probably restricted. So take, okay, next. We we'll take then we we'll install our ZAM on a particular location. So we'll take next. Then you can see here now our ZAM <coughs> begins installing. All right. So next we are going to proceed. Like this is already installing. We will go now. Why this is installing? We are going to go to our mysql so we also start up the installation alongside the zam but before we go to our mysql we are going to install the php so now for us to be able to install php after we have downloaded this which is the latest version from the link i'll put in the description below Firstly, we we'll extract all the files. We we'll extract here.
so now we're extracting all the files for our php zip folder that we initially that will take us some time while our zam is installing